Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Now, I will be reading for November 10th through the 16th. I want to remind you all that, you know, that these are general readings. They may or may not resonate, so take what you like, leave the rest. I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself up to God, Source, Jesus, and ask for whatever message needs to come through for it to come through. We've had a very interesting week. I have had many um, problems and then magical, I should say, supernatural or spiritual solutions. So many, many different blessings. So that's why I'm a little late with my videos. Um, so things are working out, but always life does try to throw some, life tries to throw some obstacles. But the obstacles in my life have been met. And I will tell you, there have been many blessings this last couple of days for me. Okay, so anyway, this is the overview, and I want to tell you what the cards are. I will try to get the um, individual readings out by Friday. I like to say that because by Friday, can maybe, maybe something will happen. I'll get them out that much earlier. But let me tell you the cards I'm going to be using. All right, so now for the, for the individual readings, I will be using Radley Valentine deck. Uh, Angel Tarot cards, I will be using John Holland, the Psychic Tarot and Oracle deck. I'll also, because people were asking me for the gemstone, I will use this time um, Angel Gemstone Oracle cards. It gives us not only the gemstone, but also a little mantra. So you may want to talk about that or keep copy that down when I give that to you. Now, I am making, I am trying to make the readings a little bit shorter because I had someone who I love very dearly. And when I asked, she, um, they were telling me about, oh, this is happening, this is happening. And I was like, do you not watch my videos? Well, sometimes they're a little bit too long. So we're going to try to shorten them a little bit. But this is the overview. And I will be using for the overview, what is this? Um, I know I should know these, but this is, again, Radley Valentine, Angel Wisdom cards, and the Fairy Tarot cards. We have some very interesting times. We have, we have a full moon in place coming up. We are still in Scorpio season. We are coming to the point where we're, um, I would say that on the 12th, we will be in Mercury retrograde. I'm not Mercury, I'm sorry. We'll be in the shadow of Mercury retrograde. So that's always an interesting time. There's a lot of karmic energy going on when we do that. We're also coming to the point, the 19th, I believe, when we transition into from Pluto into um, from Pluto in Capricorn to Pluto in Aquarius. But let me go back here, and we're going to look at that website that I do like. Hold on a second while we do this. Flip, flip, flip. I have to flip it now. All right, it looks like I don't have it open. There we go. Is it open now for you? Yes, it is. And make sure it's not uh, upside down for you, though, either. Okay, so this website is the-astrologer.net. I like, I like how he puts things, put, you know, puts things together. We are going from the 10th now, so we have the 11th of November, so we have 11-11. So we all have a lot of this one, 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 one energy and, you know, new beginning, new beginning, transitioning to a new beginning, transitioning, transitioning to new, new, new starts. So always an interesting time. A lot of times, you know, people will call this also um, a portal because of the repeat in the um, in the numbers. So we have Venus entering into Capricorn, Capricorn, Earth energy. Venus is very um, relation wise, uh, very um, very, can be very loving, can, she can be very jealous at the same time, but this is actually very grounding. Venus and Capricorn will be very grounding for Venus, but, and Venus for, so Venus will be more grounded, Capricorn will be a little bit more loving. So it's a softer energy for Capricorn. Now, we have on the 12th, we have Mercury, 12 degrees, and if we go with the um, Major Arcana, that is the hanged man, or that is looking at things differently. Mercury, again, like I said, we are in, this will be starting the shadow of Mercury. Um, I th look at Mercury like this. Mercury has a, Mercury is about um, communication, telecommunications, um, electronics, internet energy, hearing messages. Mercury is a messenger. 
So there's going to be a different message coming. Now we have Sagittarius, who's actually, to me, has been in a really good place, very adventurous. I'm not saying that things aren't um, hard, but it's all, you know, but it's like you have the, you know, Sagittarius energy has the resources. So we've got some things going on. Mercury, communication, um, you know, we got to look at things a little bit differently. We've got the fire sign. There's some good, uh, good solutions with Mercury. However, it is squaring with Saturn, also 12 degrees in Pisces. So we have that. Let's go over so we can see that a little bit better. And, you know, Saturn is still retrograde. However, it is in the shadow of the retrograde. It is really coming to stationary direct. So Saturn is, you know, Saturn is also about karma. There is a karmic resolution. We're going to be hearing interesting energies, interesting messages during this time. Saturn is a rule keeper. It's been in dreamy Pisces for a while, pulling up stuff. But, you know, Saturn and Pisces, there's kind of that friction. It's almost like the, you know, the piece of sand that creates the um, pearl in the oyster. You know, it, it's a friction. It's an irritant. They're not necessarily the best of friends. However, something beautiful does come through that. The interesting now, we come to the 15th. Now, remember with full moons, I am I do not say to worship the full moon. I do not say to worship the moon. I like looking at the moon because it does affect our energies. It does affect what is going on in the, in the earth. Now, you know, there is that gravitational pull, and I also look at it as a divine creation, okay? So the full moon, the moon in itself, you will see one side of the moon, always one side, no matter what phase it is in, it is always the one side. Now, um, the, you know, so what's going on and, you know, behind the scenes, we're never really, really sure on that. So we have to have a lot of hope, a lot of faith, a lot of trust. The full moon will be in Taurus. Now, according to the cards, I use the moonology. Yeah, well, this is the moonology cards. Um, Yasmin Bolin. Your dreams, oh, you can't see this. Your dreams need a practical plan. So uh, Taurus is saying we have to have a little practicality with what everything we have to do. Now, remember, Mars has gone into, we'll go back here, Mars on the 4th entered into Leo. So this is going to, this is interesting too because it's going to go backwards and forwards and it'll be bouncing, Mars will be bouncing between Leo and Cancer for a while. But right now it is direct in Leo and there's a lot of fiery energy. Now Mars is associated with Scorpio, but I always think of Mars and Aries and we have Aries in the full, in the full, I'm sorry, in the north node and we are in scorpio season so there's a lot of fiery energy there's a lot of um oh just churning up the water so we've got a full moon in taurus 24 degrees it's on the 15th <coughs> excuse me the 15th is about in the tarot <coughs> oh excuse me and i also noticed that mercury is 12 degrees on the 12th oh you know so that in itself is very, very interesting, too. So the 15th is the double card, is the facing your fears, things coming up, being exposed, um, and again, things that we may not want to know about, we may not want to even deal with, but however, we will have that Venus will help us through it. It will bring some softening to that harder um, aspect of life. The full moon in Taurus, um, like I said, your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon squaring now, squaring now with Mars in Leo. Again, facing fears. You know, you can either say, I want the old way, or I want to move on, and I want to create something better. So it's squaring Mars. So we again, we have that squaring energy, which is kind of like the pearl. Um, though Saturn in Pisces is, is, is that piece of sand there. But we are, the full moon is pushing against Mars, and Mars is pushing against the full moon. And Mars is almost telling, you know, like the full moon, you got to do something. You got to do something here now. And then we have it conjuncting, meaning there is, so conjuncting and trining is kind of partnerships, okay? So it's conjuncting with, again, Uranus in Taurus. So we have Uranus, the planet of, or the energy that is expect the unexpected. So we've, you know, we've got some high emotions with Mars. We've got, um, 
you know, facing, facing fears, facing, you know, facing how, you know, humanity in its own way too, um, you know, when you look at the, and this is probably the card I love the best out of the weight rider cup deck, the devil is when you look at the two little people at the corner, uh, you see that they have been losing their humanity. You see that they can at any moment, any time they can slip their bondage, but it's all about choice. Do they do that or do they not? Do they? So this could also be, we've all heard, we've all been hearing about ascension energy going from third dimension to fourth dimension. Um, you know, and this could, you know, this could be, you know, I would rather stay where I'm at. I don't want to know. Or, no, I want to know more. I want to move forward. So the 15th of November will be very interesting. Expect the unexpected. Now, again, we have the full moon, though, trining, partnering with Venus in Capricorn. So there will be a softening with that. But then again, we have the full moon trining with Pluto. And Pluto is at the end of Capricorn. It's going to be moving out any, you know, any day now. So like I said, the 19th. So we've got some very interesting energy. Pluto, again, very associated with Scorpio. Um, you know, you go from this, basically, what is it they say, the scorpion to the eagle to the, um, to the phoenix, where there is transformation happening. So this could be a very transformative time. The 16th now, we do have Saturn going direct. So, you know, this down here where it's squaring, it is stationary right now, meaning that there's a lot. This Saturn, this karmic energy is really being focused, focused on our, our dreams are coming up again. Now, sometimes I, I'm kind of feeling like sometimes these dreams can even be nightmares. Um, so it's an it's just an interesting time. Um, it, it's what one, you know, it's it's what one person, you know, what is, what is the Chinese? Oh, may you, may you um, Chinese um, saying, may you live in interesting times, which is both what they say, it's both a blessing and a curse. All right, so we have um, Saturn going direct, and then we have Scorpio opposing that Uranus again, that is, it's just an interesting time. We're going to have, a, it, we're having a lot of buildup especially when we come to this 19th. There is a lot of buildup, a lot of energy. Um, I kind of feel like it's a time that, um, you know, just, it's like we're, we've been blowing up the ball, we've been blowing up that balloon and the balloon's either going to expand or it's going to burst. All right, so here's just another way of looking at it. Um, again, this one is horoscope, horoscope.astro-seek.com. It also gives you a nice little way to, if you want to look up your, um, you know, if you want to look up your birth chart, you can look up your birth chart there. So we have Saturn going direct. Now they're saying the 15th. Let's see, what time do I have this? Okay, UT, um, GMT. So the 15th, 16th, uh, Saturn is going direct. The 15th, 16th, the full moon in Taurus. So interesting times that we live in and... We are, we are there. We are there. We will get through this. And there, like I, um, you know, I have always been telling you when, and I always end, you know, I always end my um, videos basically saying, you know, you know, remember uh, that you are loved because that is true. God loves you. God loves you. We're all here in this together. Um, I say you, uh, you know, stay shining because your vibrations do not hide your light. Do not hide your light under a bushel, um, and then be blessed so that we will have those blessings. Anyway, full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. Let us go on and see now. What else do we want to say? What else? What do the cards want to say for November 10th to the 16th? This is, you know, we're living in history right now. This is historical energy, historical times. I have said this over and over again, um, you know, when, when the last time this happened was, you know, what was it, 1776, 1777, and, um, you know, Cap Pluto and Capricorn led up to the um, Revolutionary War, and then when we had a Pluto and Aquarius, we had a lot of revolutionary, I'm not going to just, I'm not going to say just war, we had a lot of revolutionary ideas. Okay, 
So look, you know, if you need, if you, if you want to look this up, look up your history. That's how um, I'm, you know, I'm not necessarily, I don't consider myself a, um, you know, an astrologer, but I do look at stuff and I, I feel my, you know, I, I ask God, what is this about? And so I do get insights on it. At the same time, I always like to look at where was this? What was going on in the world? And the internet gives us that energy, gives us those, a lot of those answers. Okay, let's see. Higher power, Holy Spirit. What else do you want to say? Oh, okay, cards are falling down. Okay, I'm going to put us on hold for a moment because the cards are really far. Okay, so we got a bunch of cards that fell. This one fell separately, so I'm going to put that separate from these. Let's see what we have with these cards, okay? Let's see, we're going to put this one last. Maybe it should be first, but we're going to do it last right now. And I'm going to do these cards as they, as they popped up. And we'll see how that works. Anything that is reversed to me has a little stronger message. First card, the dreamer, a new start, a new start. We are entering into a period of a new start. Now, like I said, we can either accept that, you know, and say, okay, I know it's going to be kind of scary. We can either start, accept that new start, or we can go back to an older way. The thing is, um, I don't think the energies are going to allow you, any one of us, to really stay in that older way. So we have the dreamer. The dreamer is also known as the fool. Uh, Archangel Metatron, believed to have been Enoch before the flood. Zero um, is God's source energy. It's a new start. Trust yourself. Push your fears away. And I, and, you know, I, I talked about that. Push your fears away and take a leap of faith. I think that's very... It's very um, appropriate for the times we're in. Next card is, well, now, and I did, you know, like I said, these fell. This is awakening. This is also the hanged man. This is Archangel Shamuel. This is 12. So something is about looking at things differently. You know, here he is, and, you know, and he's, in some ways he's losing, you know, his, his possessions are falling out. I do find that it's interesting, I'm going to turn that over, that his, um, so we have, it looks like, okay, we have the Archangel, um, the, Arch, the Archangel Power Tarot cards here, and we have the Angel Tarot cards here. And you can see that gravity is pulling everything, but it, it's really kind of interesting that his purse or his satchel is not moving. So we have Awakening, we have this... Um, you know, um, hanged man energy. We have this looking at things differently, things, you know, and we, you know, we're going to have to, we're going to have to take a new direction. If there's a new direction coming for us. A temporary pause. This is good because it's going to give us a little time for reflection and insight. An awakening where you see things in a whole new light. Embrace your own uniqueness, charitable actions. We have a 12. So that's a 1, 10, and a 2. Two is crossroads choices, decisions. One is new beginnings. Ten is transitional energy. So let's see what we've got with this card here. We're getting all of these are major arcanas. And I have, I did, um, I did shuffle. So this would be um, also known as the temperance card, having moderation. We have to have things put in balance. Remember, Libra is in the South Node trying to deal with some of the past energies, past, you know, past, you know, stuff, if you want to put it that way. We have a rainbow coming. Um, I was feeling very much rainbow energy um, earlier today. We have the sun shining. Uh, Zedkiel, we have a 14, you know, again, 110, and then we have a 4. 4 is stability, organization, and leadership. So now we have blending the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary. Successful compromise, the power of diversity, self-control, patience, and balance. And I'm kind of pulling in that, uh, I think this is why we have Venus in um, Capricorn right now, right? Venus in Capricorn, was that what I said? Next card, justice. And again, I did shuffle these cards. Justice. Justice is coming. 
Now, this is Archangel Raguel. Now we have, again, we have the, um, the weights and balances. We have the duality. We have the, you know, we have the balance again. So it's an interesting time for everyone, interesting time for the world in itself. Raguel, we have a number eight. Eight is um, about unlimited opportunities and possibilities. Raguel, I love, you know, I love Raguel's story. I like, you know, I, he basically Raguel is the one to dispense justice, be it, you know, you know, good or bad. Again, we have the karmic um, energies that I was talking about with Mercury. We have karma. Um, whenever retrograde, Mercury goes retrograde, I feel very karmic energy. I talked about Saturn. Saturn is also, you know, one of the plant, well, planet with um, karmic, ener karmic um, resolution too. So we have justice energy here. But Raguel, so what, what Raguel does, this is the story behind Raguel or the understanding, uh, is basically, you know, gets everybody together and says, okay, um, so-and-so is doing this, or this is going on, you know, with, maybe even with the nation. What do we want to do? And if he gets different, he, she gets different um, answers, he's the one to make the final decision on that. Justice, he's got his eyes closed, so he's not letting emotions deal with it. He, you know, justice is blind. Be impartial and objective. Stand up for what you believe. Try to see all sides of a situation. You will win if your position is one of integrity. Now, I'm going to say integrity, not necessarily emotional energies, okay? Not out of emotion. Now, this is the one that was kind of separate. It fell on the floor, but it was separate. Let's see. Two. Two partnership two of water now it's interesting that these were all major arcanas these were all archangel energy cards and this becomes the minor arcana so there is water energy the cancer pisces and scorpio fluid emotional uh loving energy it can be very very loving two is choices decisions partnering so this is you know the two of cups is one of the the sweetest ones okay one of the sweetest um cups energies around we have a cupid up there or a chair um no that wouldn't be a cherubin um cherubin maybe but a cupid up there we have a um wane we have a waxing moon i believe that would be and you know that is remember moon energy is release relinquish and request things are coming up and what we have here raphael raphael is the angel of healing and that could be emotional, physical, spiritual. So whatever's going on in the world, there's a new beginning. People, we all have to look at things differently. There is a balance that is to be achieved or coming and justice is served. But then for us all, we need to be, there is a healing coming here to, for people. There's a loving cup here, Raphael. Raphael is the healer of anything that needs to be healing, emotional, spiritual, relationship, physical, financial even. Falling in love or the resurgence of a re romantic relationship. Ah, relationship. Forgiveness and the ending of challenges. Exchanging gifts. Don't give up on people you love. There is so much possibility here. And again, I'm going to say you can accept it and you can, you know, just say, God, lead me. Show me the way, um, or you can fight it. I told you that 15th, that 15th um, has a lot of fear to it. So we can, you know, and what I, what I always say about fear is, you know, fear is one of the tools of the devil that you, is used to keep us from our blessing. So it's a, a week of being bold, and it's a week of... Um, doing what's integrity what is right there is a new beginning coming we have to look at things or the world I, sh I shouldn't say we per se the world needs to look at things a little differently but there's a loving energy that can be obtained okay let's see what we have here okay we got two, we got these cards falling out now we have three cards falling out and the this again is the two of summer, which is the two of water, okay, two of cups. So we have a lot of really good energy with this. 
let's see, we have, ah, very dramatic poses. Falling in love or making a serious commitment to someone. Forgiveness and the resolution of a problem. Don't give up. Your relationship can be healed. Now, these all popped up right side up. So here we go. This one is also reversed. The three of summer. The three of summer. I love the three of summer. It's all about celebration. Three is um, the power of three. Uh, celebration, creation. Again, this is spring energy. News worth celebrating. Announcements such as weddings, graduations, or birth. Friends you cherish. So there is, you know, there looks like there wants to be a lot of healing going on, and there's a lot of celebrating. There's a lot of love, feeling the love. And then we end with another major arcana, a two, crossroads, choices, decisions, the high priestess. She has the book, a book of knowledge. But look at her. Ooh, she's, I've never really looked at her in this way. She, <laughs> she is not someone to trifle with. Let's put it this way. Trusting your intuition, careful reflection before taking action, insights that come through meditation. This has a lot of Holy Spirit energy to it, feminine energy, um, connecting, connecting, connecting with God, source, Jesus, whoever that, you know, whoever for you, I tell you my beliefs, so you don't have to believe what I believe. I just tell you that so you can maybe transfer or translate my words into your belief system. So this is connecting. There is a lot of things going on, especially with that full moon. Release, relinquish, and request. So I am so glad I was able to get this one out. I will be working on the other ones. They will come out. I like to put them all out together. So when I have them all put together, I will post them. All right, so I want to thank you all. I really, we're in interesting times. I have had many, many blessings uh, this week. Now, with these, with the prior to these blessings, there were some, what am I going to do? And yet, like I said, I gave it to God, and I have been blessed. All right, please do me the favor. Please do me the favor, right down there, liking, sharing, subscribing, clicking on the bell for notifications. You keep me coming back. As always, as I said, always remember, always know, you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.